Okay, we're gonna be singing loud, so we're singing I Am Love. Back here, people in Pasadena are trying to make sense of a triple murder in their own neighborhood. Well, another case of deadly gun violence in a Pasadena community. At least three people are dead and two others wounded, and police say it all started as a feud between rival gangs. The drug dealings, it wasn't hidden. That's what I think was the strangest thing about the store. It was almost like the backdrop of a movie or something. Like everything, nothing was hidden. So imagine every bad thing was meeting here. Once the store was no more, there was a sense of safety that was enough to where you can start focusing on the people and how do we better ourselves, how do we take advantage of an opportunity to advance. And that was hope for a lot of people. This intersection uh, was once called Blood Corner, uh, had the highest daytime crime rate uh, in all of LA County. And that community garden across the street was once a liquor store uh, that was the epicenter of all of that crime uh, in this community. And John Perkins decided that he wanted to live here to bring about change uh, and transformation and the lives of people who desperately needed it.
there's quite a few kids whose family, like beyond the kid, but the families also have a lot of needs. And so they've spent a lot of time figuring out how to address the needs of the student, but also trying to find ways to support the families. As, since you're a part of the community, like making sure that they look out for look out for you and help you in whatever way that they can, whether that means you know financial assistance or whatever it could be. The mission has a lot to do with the understanding of what kids need. And we're intentional about uh, meeting the social and emotional needs uh, before we get deeply into the academic needs uh, and the learning needs. And all of our teachers are, are trained and come with experiences with that, that helps that understanding of being able to reach kids who learn best through relationships. And when those needs are met, you see more holistically this model student that you desire for them to be. Uh, Well-rounded in, in character, integrity, uh, and respect, and most importantly, uh, self-esteem. And I also encourage my daughters to do the same thing, uh, give back. Um, because we may not be blessed in ways that American society thinks that we are, um, but we always have something to give. And so that's kind of just the way that I live my life. I don't think we knew the extent of, of, of how impacted our students are outside of the school. But when you have that, that notion that regardless of what they bring to you, that God has put these children in front of you to take that little mind and mold it and help the students to acquire some skills that will allow them to make it when they leave you. Um, I think we all take the charge very seriously. I come from a broken home, and so I can really identify with a lot of the kids, so I can relate to them, and I just know that they need love and they need stability, which is what I needed when my family was going through that, so I try to give that to them. So I want them to have confidence in themselves and I want them to know who they are and know that their circumstances don't determine who they're becoming. We are no longer fit to the mold that has been prepared for us. Listening to them and helping them form their ideas. I think they have really profound ideas and they're often overlooked or they're often not valued as much as they can be. And we we'll practice that open door thinking. Open door thinking means that we share our thoughts and reasons out loud with others, right? So when you're ready to practice open door thinking, please raise your hand. Thank you, Joseph, for that calm, quiet hand. Go ahead, Joseph. <laughs> Tell them you can do whatever you want you know like you are going to be that you are going to be whatever you want because they're they're such sponges and they repeat what they hear no matter what so if they're given positivity and and, and strength and love you know on a daily basis that's that's what's going to combat those things that they see around them all the time you know and i think that that's what all we can do because we can't change their lives in, in their home lives, but we can control what, what comes into their brain at least eight hours of the day when we do see them. This was like the starting point for me to be able to move on to, you know, passing to Christian Maranatha, then I went to Cal State Northridge, and I went to USC. But it all started, you know, with here, and without those scholarships and the assistance that I got here, I wouldn't have been able to, you know, go on to the other places, so.
We got to stay in this little community long enough that we can win some of the young people to Jesus Christ. We got to nurture them in their faith. We got to help them to get a love for God, love for themselves, and a love for the community. That's a greater love than consumerism and materialism. We're going to have to help them stay in school, tutor them, nurture them, and then help them to go through high school, go off to college, get some skills, and come back to this community and change this community. never discouraged but always encourage our brothers and sisters, then we will join hands and move together to change our society. We are what we make of ourselves. We will no longer fit into the mold that has been prepared for us. I was somebody when I came here and I will be a better somebody when I leave. I am powerful and I am smart. I deserve the education that I get here at school. I have things to do people to impress, and places to go. Why? Because I am somebody. 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 for your grace, your love, your kindness. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for each and every one of these teachers, Lord God. Lord, Lord thank you for Harambe schools. We thank you and we praise you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.